spaghetti code. We've all done it, we've all written it, we've all hated ourselves for writing it, we've all promised ourselves we're never going to do it again. So today we're gonna to speak about what spaghetti code is, why we as developers seem destined to write it over and over again, and what we can do to avoid writing it in the future. So what is spaghetti code? It's that piece of code you've written that works great. It meets all the customer requirements, the UI looks good, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. From the user point of view, it's just awesome. But anyone looking at the code base is totally confused, they're lost, the code is messy, it's difficult to follow, it's unstructured, hard to maintain, nobody wants to work on it. Because as soon as any small change gets made, the application seems to break. Spaghetti code is that code that you open a year after you wrote it and you're embarrassed with that code that you wrote because you don't even understand that what you did. And this is something we've all done, yet we keep doing it. So why do we write spaghetti code? We do it because it has huge benefits. Writing this messy, quick, dirty code is awesome to get the job done really quickly. It has no rules, it has no structure, you, you're not bound by any form of rules or regulations when you write the code. Sp writing spaghetti code is absolutely awesome when time is the biggest factor. You have a ridiculous deadline and you just need to get the code out as quickly as possible. So we write it because it's quick and it's easy and usually always because we have a tight deadline. We write it because we often don't care about the technical debt we're going to incur in the future. And by technical debt, I mean the benefit we're going to get now from doing things really quickly, but somewhere down the line in the future, we're gonna suffer for it because of how difficult it is to maintain that code. We write this code because we assume we are never gonna to need to touch that code again. So how do we stop writing code that's impossible to follow? Firstly, be sure to keep your files, classes, your assets in your project organized. Put things in a place where you would expect to find them. Even with all the search capabilities we have now, things should be put in a place that's intuitive. Make sure everything is in a folder or grouped among similar items. Be sure you follow standards set out by the project you're working on or the team you're working with. If you're working on a brand new project, make sure you decide on the standards you're gonna to adhere to for the rest of that project. To make your code more readable, ensure you don't have functions that are overly long. Try and identify smaller subtasks in a big function and move those out into their own functions or their own classes. This makes it easier for the reader because they're only focusing on a small amount of lines of code at a time. This varies on the particular circumstance, but if you find yourself writing a method that is more than 50 lines, you should consider splitting that up into multiple methods. Try and avoid using heavy, unnecessary libraries. What tends to happen is you'll need a feature that one library provides. You tend to use that library, but it ends up having a stack of other features that you don't actually care about or your code base doesn't need. Try and look for a lighter library that focuses just on that one feature you might need. Heavily nested code is also very confusing to read. If you end up having lots of while loops within if statements, which in more if statements within more while loops, using guard clauses instead of normal if else statements can improve the readability considerably. Always assume that you are going to be touching the code again. Uh, whenever you write a piece of code, imagine that some point in the future you are going to be having to work on it again. They say that we modify code three to five times more often than what we actually write new code. Unrealistic deadlines are the biggest cause for spaghetti code. As a developer, you should be pushing back on a deadline that's completely unrealistic. Try and be more proactive in the planning process. If a deadline is particularly unrealistic, be sure to voice your opinions about that to your superior. This is sometimes difficult if you're a junior because you wanna be seen to be doing your best and, over, and, and performing your best. If that's the case, don't be afraid to involve your team lead or one of your team members to help evaluate the situation and see, is it un an unrealistic deadline? Perhaps too many features are trying to be pushed into that particular user story. A good way to frame the conversation is to focus on quality rather than speed. So there's a couple of tips on how to try and to keep your code cleaner. Keep your project structured and organized. Follow accepted standards. 
don't accept unrealistic deadlines and always assume you're going to be working on that code base sometime in the future. Thank you so much for watching. You can watch this video here if you want to see what some of the non-technical skills that you should be focusing on to be a success as a software developer. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.